Hello from the Bavarian capital city of Munich. We are gonna travel today to Ingolstadt on the A9, A9 motorway. A beautiful trip through one of the biggest area of hop fields in Europe. We start in the northern neighborhoods of Munich, a city of more than 1.5 million inhabitants. It's the third largest in, uh, in Germany after Berlin and Hamburg. But it's uh, the biggest economical center and the city is an incredible, incredible life quality. It's always in the first three, four cities in the world in different life quality rankings. The city is situated in South Germany, about 40-50 kilometers north of the Alps, on the Isar River at an altitude of about um, 500, 600 to 600 meters. Munich has a rich history, being first mentioned in 1158. The Catholic city strongly resisted the Reformation and after Bavaria developed into a sovereign kingdom in 1806, the city became a major European center of arts, architecture, culture and science. The city was destroyed, or most of it, during the Second World War, but most of the historical center was restored afterwards, making it a big touristical attraction. The economy developed a lot, starting from the 1950s, bringing a lot of prosperity. The city hosted the Summer Olympics in 1972. And today Munich is a global center of art, science, technology, finance, culture, innovation, education, business and tourism. Tourists come here for the city's numerous architectural and cultural attractions, for the numerous events, exhibition and the annual Oktoberfest festival. It's a celebration of beer, Munich being known for its breweries and the Weiss beer, a specialty, a beer specialty from Bavaria. The city has a very interesting architecture, an eclectic mix of historic and modern architecture. Uh, in the center of the city is the Marienplatz. It's a large open square with old and the new town halls. Three gates of the medieval fortifications survive. The Isar Tor in the east, the Sandlinger Tor in the south and the Karlstor in the west of the inner city. And the area around the Marienplatz is the um, most uh, lively pedestrianized area with a lot of restaurants, cafes and shops and many interesting old buildings. For example, the large residence palace complex. It's Germany's largest urban palace and ranks among Europe's most significant museums of uh, interior decorations containing also the splendid Rococo Cuvier Theater. Among the Baroque and neoclassical mansions we still exist in Munich are the Palais Portia, the Palais Prining, Prising, the Palais Holstein and the Prince Karl Palais, all situated close to the residence palace. The small Lehel neighborhood is a middle class quarter east of um, the old, um, the inner uh, old uh, town. Also, also very nice with numerous well-preserved townhouses. And apart from the inner city core, there are also some other beautiful neighborhoods like Schwabing and Max Vorstadt with many beautiful streets with rows of um, Gründerzeit buildings. These are buildings from the end of the 19th, beginning of the 20th century. And two lar large baroque, baroque palaces in Nymphenburg and Oberschleißheim are reminders of Bavaria's royal past. Munich is densely populated, but there are also many beautiful parks in the city. The most known is definitely the English Garden, one of the old, old um, largest urban public parks. And other large green spaces are the modern Olympia Park, the West Park, and the parks of Nymphenburg and Schleißheim palaces. Also many museums are located in Munich, like the German Museum, located on, on an island on Isar River. It's the largest and one of the oldest science museums in the world. There are also nice art collections in museums like the Alte Pinakothek, the Neue New Pinakothek, the Pinakothek der Moderne or the Museum Brandhorst. Also the region around Munich is great to visit with the Alps nearby and many other interesting towns around. So as you see, one can easily spend here at least one week in order to discover the city and its surroundings.
I am living close to Munich since a few years and I, I based my decision to move here because of the perfect combination in my opinion between good economical economic possibilities and the, the amount of things to, to see and do here. From Munich we are traveling on the A9 motorway, we already joined it. We are traveling northbound until Ingolstadt. A9 is a very important motor in Germany connecting Munich and with Berlin passing by some other big cities like Leipzig and Nuremberg. It is 529 kilometers long and was built very early between 1936 and 1941 be being the first uh, finished motorway in Germany as a whole. Nowadays the motorway has at least three lanes per direction on the whole di distance and sees a lot of traffic. The section we are driving on between Munich and Neufahrn was upgraded to four lanes per direction some years ago. The A9 is a nice drive as we'll cross the hilly Hallertau area listed as the largest continuous hop planting area in the world. Germany produces roughly one third of the world hops used as a flavoring and stabilizer during the beer production, beer brewing and over 80% of um, of uh, the hop from Germany is being grown in Hallertau. So if you do a simple computation, over one quarter of the world hop is grown here. It's incredible. And now let's admire the interesting drive with some music. And I'll come back later to say some words about Ingolstadt, our destination of the trip. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride.
and in the hopes that you enjoyed the drive on the motorway A9 through the beautiful hilly area between Munich and Ingolstadt. I am back as we are already driving on the near Ingolstadt on its bypass as the motorway bypasses uh, the, the town on the east side. Ingolstadt is, uh, has a population of about one, 130,000 inhabitants and is the fifth largest city in Bavaria. It is situated on the Danube, about halfway between Munich and Nuremberg, and has also a long history, being first mentioned in 1806, and it received already town rights in 2050. Ingolstadt is known for the, as the city where the Bavarian Reinheitsgebot was signed in 1516, it's a regulation limiting the ingredients in beer. Originally a fortress city, Ingolstadt is enclosed by a medieval defensive, um, um, defensive fortifications that resisted uh, to the Swedish long siege during the Thirty Years' War. And with such a rich history, Ingolstadt is a nice city to visit, featuring many Gothic buildings like the Old or the New Castle or the Church of Our Lady. The Kreuztor from 1385 is one of the remaining gates of the old city and also a landmark of Ingolstadt. Many buildings of the neoclassical fortification have been preserved, such as Redutili and the towers Bauer and Triva. And being the home of the headquarters of the car manufacturer Audi, the town is um, home also to Audi's museum offering guided tours and presenting an exhibition of Audi cars. I personally visited Ingolstadt a few years ago and let's see some photos I took here. I hope you enjoy the, the ride and stay tuned for more videos from my world trip from, from my road trips here on the on the channel. So bye bye for now and let's see the photos from Ingolstadt.